How's it going everybody? Wolf here with another Pokemon Scarlet Violet video. In today's video we're going to be playing with the Water Hisuian Gym that I've got built. So this will have grass and fire out of the way. Um, grass is the only one technically with the wind, but the fire one is the only one to go up against a full team of legendaries. So this is the water team. We've got Hisuian Semarot, we've got Empoleon, we've Vaporeon, um, Basque Legion, which is a Hisuian only Pokemon also. We've got Gyarados, and we've got uh, Manaphy. Manaphy? Manaphy. I think it's Manaphy. Um, the nice thing about water is it's only got two weaknesses, and it actually does pretty good against most typings. Um, we do have hazard entries on this team with Samurott. Um, so I have a way to get rid of them, per se. Uh, we do have quite a few bulky Pokemon, so that'll be nice. We've got things with Intimidate with Gyarados. I thought about bringing the Moxie one, but I've used it the most, so I was like, yeah, we'll bring the Intimidate, maybe we can start lowering people's attacks and stuff, and, um, who knows. Basically, it's just probably be one of the Pokemon that we bring in, like, dead last, just so Last Respects does a lot of damage, uh, especially with adaptability. Um, but yeah, so the team is pretty straightforward, and hopefully you guys are enjoying these teams. Um, I did do a poll a few days ago on um, which typing you guys want to see next and ghost one so the next video after this one will be the ghost type gym and then i guess i'll just go from there but with all that said thank you all for the subs that i've gotten in the last few days thank you for all the views and likes and comments and stuff and yeah well let's hop over and see how many wins we can get on the water type gym all right we've got our team picked out let's see what they're going to be bringing oh um I think I want to leave a Samurott just to get the spikes going. We do have Focus Ash, it just depends on like what they're bringing. They do have Arceus, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to figure out what typing it is. Um, for the most part though, our team does pretty okay against a lot of this, so we'll see. Um, I guess it's just determining what they want to bring in. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll leave with Samurott. Spikes is only going... It'll affect everything except for Zapdos and the Salamence. But it should do pretty decent damage against everything else, so... We'll see what happens. The only problem is, is like, one, two... Three of his Pokemon are pretty speedy. I mean, Basket Legion will still outspeed all of them. But Gyarados, after one Dragon, it should outspeed everything. It's just KOing stuff after that range, so... We'll see what happens. Luckily, his team doesn't really have much against mine, super effective-wise, so... And we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. If we can burn a lot of his team, that'll be huge, because a lot of our team has Scald, so... But like I said, Basket Legion is the one we would raid last for the last respects. Alright, so what are they leading with? Okay, well, not ideally who I wanted to see first. Um, yeah, not who I wanted to see first. It's probably going to go for a fighting type move, not going to lie. And probably have a poison type move. I could just go for Cecil's Edge and just try and get my, um, my spikes up is what I could do. He is going to be bulky. Um, yeah, I think I just want to get my Sisters Edge up first. It's not going to do very much. I just want to get the spikes up. It's literally what Samurai's job is to do, so. Alright, he just goes for superpower. Well, that is fair. That would have one-shot me. So I should be able to get two layers up. Oh, the poison... Alright, so now we know it's got Toxic Chain, so that sucks. But I mean, I guess I guess we got a layer of spikes up. Okay, so we went for a superpower. Um, who do we want to go for next? Who could bring in Gyarados? I don't know if an, well, he did lower his defense, so maybe Earthquake will be able to 
work around this thing. The the poison is so annoying. I guess I could try and get greedy. The toxic change is so annoying. Um, I'm gonna go for a dragon. I'm gonna be greedy. He could switch out. Doesn't go one of two ways. He switches out. Although, so the problem with okay, yes, he, he switches out. The problem with um, Salamence is. It brings in Skeledurge. It probably has unaware, most likely. I wonder if he's trying to burn me. <sighs> hmm. He could try and burn me. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I'd really want to tear it into. Not really. So I guess Gyarados makes okay sense. But we're going to do this. And we're just going to go for this. I don't know if he's trying to burn me is my problem. And I don't know if he has unaware or if he's got uh, just the blaze ability. So we'll see here in a second. I really just didn't want to take a burn to the face. Maybe we'll get a flinch. Or we'll KO. Well, <laughs> I don't know if he was unaware or not. But right now we outspeed everything on the team. Can Gyarados carry us? Alright, who's coming in next? Salamence feels like the best choice against my Gyarados. Doesn't. Actually brings in him. Oh, he probably has Earthquake. That's why. I don't want to hit it with a fire move. That'll just give it a free uh, boost. I'll just hit it with an Earthquake. Probably won't do too much just because it's a bulky Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, he just hits me back with the earthquake. Oh my, his did way more. Hmm. So this is base 100. This is base 80 plus stab. This might actually KO. Okay, good. Alright, Gerda, has got two KOs for us. But now if he has any priority user... They will just finish off our Gyarados. Which one's this one? Alright, there's the settlements. Oh, that's kinda lame. Um I don't have very much versus I mean I guess we have this. And we technically have that too. Salamence is gonna be faster than us also. I mean we could go for the flinch. Flinch? Nope, he just goes for upper voice. Interesting move choice. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know how fast Sal the Salamence is naturally faster than most of our stuff, so. Alright, so we've only had two KOs. I feel like. Vaporeon might actually wall pretty hard. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind. He's done Hyper Voice so far. I mean, Salamence has got the stats range to do Physical or Special. Okay, so this Dragon Rush. That actually did quite a bit to us. He did not get the flinch, luckily. <laughs> So he's got Dragon Rush, Hyper Voice. So this Ice Beam should technically KO. He still has his other dude too. <sighs> Let's see. He just goes. He goes for a Double Edge now. 
and doing okay damage to us. This should KO though. Four times damage plus a Calm Mind boost. So there's that. We're almost back up to half. We're slightly winning at the moment. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's see what typing it is. That is the... What typing is that? Is it just the normal version? I mean, we have a Calm Mind Boost. I'm going to try and scald it. Oh boy, it just goes for straight up Hyper Move on us. I would take that pretty good, though. Scald it pretty good damage. And we got the burn. Let's go. And he's down for a turn, so we'll get two leftover procs. Is Vaporeon going to carry us through the rest of this? I feel like we just go for another skull. Yeah, he's down for a turn, so... Vaporeon over here slaying legendaries. Can't be mad about that. And we get other we get another life over, leftover proc. You gotta love when OG Pokemon uh, do well. All right, so this thing's back in. Takes a little bit of spike damage. Eh, we'll just go for Scald. He's actually faster than us. That will KO us. He's not terra yet. Um, we do have four times damage in that. The poison just really bothers me. Um, let's do this. We have Psychic Fangs. It's four times damage. Which should KO from this range. I would imagine. And then actually Psychic Fangs is good against Zapdos also. Basket Legion carrying us through the rest of the way. Well, there's no point not in switching out now. Just do as much damage before we go down as possible. That did so much damage. Oh, he just goes for Brave Bird. He might KO himself. It was close. But hey, the Water Hussein Gym got a, it's a win, so let's go. We finally got a win with another team. And we still have Empoleon and Manaphy uh, left. Manaphy left. Well, there we go. We got a win. With half our team still alive. Well, there we go. So I'll see you guys in the second match. Alright, moving into our second match. We'll see how this one goes. We ended the last one with still half our Pokemon alive. So that's, that's pretty good. So we're going to see what we're going up against now. Okay, so we got, a, we got a pretty interesting team. The Jolteon kind of terrifies me, but we will see what happens. Yeah, Jolteon kind of terrifies me, so we'll, we'll start off with getting our spikes up. It's just really to get rid of any Focus Sash, and then just if they're switching in and out a lot, it helps whittle them down. So that's why I like Hazard Entry so much, especially in these 6v6 battles. Like, Hazard Entries, you get so much value out of. Let's see what they're going to be bringing. Uh, of course, they lead with the Jolteon. 
which we can actually maybe benefit from here because uh, we are focus sash and we have aqua jet. So if this connects, it should be put it low enough for us to KO it. So we'll see what happens. It wouldn't even uh, one shot me anyways. All right, so here's this. We almost one shot him. And then we just do this. And voila! Our biggest threat is now all of a sudden gone. Thanks to us, uh, Hussein Semarat. Oh, yeah, what's coming in next? Probably something still faster than me. Um, actually, is not faster than me. And can actually take another one of these. Oh, he might. Oh, he doesn't have Shadow Sneak. Uh oh, Hussein Semarat might just start going. And that's the second layer of spikes. Let's <laughs> see Two OP of a lead. Alright, what's next? Alright, this thing might honestly outspeed me. But you know what? We're just gonna keep going with this. Oh, nope, we outspeed it. Let's see what Samurai's being a bully. That's half their team gone already down to this, our starter. And every layer of spikes does more and more damage to the more they come in, so like, it's just making it easier and easier and easier for Samurai to deal with. Okay, so he's actually probably going to be a lot faster than me. So before we go, I'll just try and do some damage before I faint. Or we'll just... Oh, we gotta crit it. I'm so sorry. Samurai's making this a really quick match. It's because it, Samurai feels cheapened from the first match where he got poisoned by the toxic chains. Golduck. Is Golduck faster than me? I don't remember. But how about another Seuss's Edge? Yeah, like, hmm. No, nope, we're faster. Oh, but it lived. Oh, it's come back at us with the Hydro Pump. It's okay, you did your job. Um... I, he's at the moment, he's like, Hydro Pump, I don't even care anymore. Here, I have a Shadow Ball. Wonder Room. Especially in... I don't know if that's good or not for him. Alright, I don't remember what his last Pokemon is. Samurai was a bully. Alright, what's the last Pokemon? Oh, it's Gyarados. With the Intimidate. They just switched our defenses, so right now my, uh... <laughs> my... Um... Oh, he's not terror yet. Well, he's gonna terror now. I guess we can see what terror typing it is. But he made it, I think he made my, my defense higher than my special defense, so I think that's beneficial for me. Flying. I should've just ice beamed. I was thinking about ice beaming, I just didn't do it. I think it's for a hurricane. I did pretty good damage, it confused me, so this could be kind of annoying. I really wish I had ice beamed. And I smacked myself. I did nothing to myself. <laughs> My leftovers will hit me more than what I did to myself. He's got Hurricane. Now we're just going to go for ice beams now. From what I remember, I don't think Gyarados is going to... Well... I... Okay. Oh, you healed me. Oh, thanks, buddy. Come on. Stop torturing this poor guy. Thank you. Alright. Last one. Unless he just quits. Okay, there we go. Oh, well. Sebra was a bit of a bully in that one. So there's our second win. We've got two wins in a row. So now moving on to our third match. Alright, here's... Oh, boy. Okay, so we see... This is our third match. 
The Masquerada bothers me a lot. Nothing else does too much. The Masquerada just really bothers me a lot. Um, hmm. Oh no, the stupid slug bothers me too. Oh, there's so many problems on this team to deal with. Alright, so we'll get the spikes going. This is going to be a little bit more of a rougher match, just because it's water versus water, but he's also got two grass types, which, and a big boy electric one, so this is going to be a little rougher to deal with. Uh, but we'll try. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this might be the one we finally lose. That's fair, though, because Samurott was a big boy in the one before this one. So far, water's done the best. I figured it would. Water is a great typing in the game. Right, what are you leading with, though? Right, so you're just leading with Masquerada. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I think I still want to get my... I mean, she could be super squishy. No, I still want to do this. How are you turning out? That's annoying. That did so much damage. I'm going to assume they're choice banded. I was like, that did a lot. samurai has got pretty okay defenses, though. I, I feel, that feels choice banded. Uh, something the great's coming in. Oh, that makes sense. That way they can get a moxie boost. Um, hmm. I really don't want to give them a free Moxie boost, honestly. <laughs> like, I really don't. I could just go for an Aqua Jet. I am at one. Um. I feel like I could get set up on Gyarados. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go for the Intimidate. They, they, they most likely went for a Aqua Jet, is what I'm believing they went for, so... So we'll lower their attack a little bit so we can... Yeah. Oh no, they just went for Aqua Step, in general. Alright, so we take that just fine. They do get a speed boost out of it, though, which kind of sucks. I'm actually going to go for a Dragon Dance. Well, Ice Spin are interesting. That did, like, nothing to us. Now, I don't know who's faster. I don't know if we are or if they are. Um, I could probably get pretty greedy and go for another one, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'm going to go for another one. I'm happy I did, too. Oh, that's a good one to bring in against me. Yeah. Unaware. Makes sense. I don't know what his move list is. It could be like a yawn version, most likely. So it's going to be super annoying to deal with. Uh, we'll do an earthquake just as it is. He's going to be super bulky. This thing's going to be a problem. I don't really have an answer for it, honestly. I mean, I guess I kind of do it in Polyon. I could force it to switch out with Roar. I don't know what his move list is, though. I don't know if it's like a Curse Yawn build. I was going to do like nothing. Yeah, that did nothing. Yeah, it's Curse Yawn build. Oh, well, it could be Yawn, Wave Crash, maybe Earthquake. That's so annoying. Okay, so let's switch it to Empoleon. We know he can't use a ground move against us. At least this way I can roar him away.
He landed a fissure on me. Oh, wow. That's how we're going to go down is to cheese. I don't... I have nothing for this thing on my team. Um... Yeah, I have nothing. Oh, shit, I had a grass move. The best I can go for is, like, trying to burn it. <laughs> that's, that's so dumb, Fissure. I'm going to try and go for a burn. Just <laughs> did okay damage. No burn. Guess the yawn. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, so we've seen Yawn and we've seen Fissure. I'm just gonna try and scold him again. That's what the burn. Cool. So that essentially negates the leftovers. He lands a second Fissure in a row against us. What? Oh my gosh. It's a 30% accuracy move that he's hit me twice with. Bro's luck is definitely on his side. Um, I mean, I'm kind of running out of steam. Like, yeah, like, we're running out of steam. At least he can't hit me with Fissure here. So let's go for another earthquake. Yeah, he'll go for the yawn. Yeah, so we've canceled out the leftovers at least, which is nice. All right, so I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna dragon dance. In case he wants to switch out here, because I don't know what other moves he has to actually hit me with. He might have rest. I don't know. Okay, so he withdraws. Probably bringing in the dumb electric Pokemon. Nope, he brings in that stupid thing. I just, I have nothing to hit anything with. That's the problem. Because now he can get all Leech CD on me. We'll go to sleep. There's not really much I can do right now. So yeah, he can kind of just do whatever he wants to me. Um, he is lowering my attack too, which kind of sucks. I'm just going to go for another Dragon Dance. We don't know what's going to happen. I imagine Leech Seed, so it'll just take me down. Yeah. Yeah, he still has both grass types left. That's really rough for us. I wonder if he keep doing this. I have the worst luck. I've been hit by two fissures, and I'll have the, like I'll get the, like the entire thing of uh, sleep. Also, and now I have to deal with that. Now there's not really anything I can do. Um. Oh look, we woke up finally. Even though we're almost dead. So it's got Leech Seed, Substitute, Foul Play, which will definitely KO us at this range. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't have much for this team. The double grass, electric, and then um, Dodunzo just completely walled me hard. Hmm, not much else we can do. He 
It's so cute. You just eat it up. I'll just go for an ice beam, I guess. Hey, most likely just went for a leech seed on us. At least we do have enough damage to break that. Can you miss a move? No. He cannot miss. It is unmissable. It is unmissable. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to do. There's like, I'm not KO'd. No, I, none of his Pokemon are close to death, so like, there's not much I can really do. Well, we're at plus three special attack now. <laughs> Not that that means anything, because Dodunzo can just come in and wall me regardless, because of unaware. Uh, I mean, we were bound to lose eventually. Yeah, here comes Dodunzo, because we buffed. Yep. I mean, it took a little bit of spike damage, I guess, but... But now it's going to get Leech Seed plus Leftovers. I just like we don't do enough damage to this thing is the problem. So it's probably going to go for Yawn most likely. Um, so I'm gonna have to do like a double weird switch. Or he could go for Fissure. He could just go for Fissure. I guess for Protect. This thing is so annoying. Like, I'm just going to go for last respects. This should KO. Yeah. Yay! Dedunzo's gone! Let's go! I'm so sad about that. He's got two walls on his team, though, still against me, and that's the two other grass types. Hey, but at least we KO'd something, though. I'm proud of that, <laughs> I guess. We took something down. Teeny, which one's that one? Oh, the Masquerada. I have to sacrifice my mana fee for this so I can get the max thing on last respects. He just, I want also, okay, so he's probably in. So that means when we come back in, um, Last Respect should KO it. Because it's going to be at max, and it lost its, uh, its dark typing, so. We won't clean up, but we should be able to get a second KO, though. So we should get a second KO here. Unless he just switches out. He could just switch out. Nope, he stays in. Well, we got two KOs, let's go! Basket Legion doing work. But as soon as the stupid uh, slug comes in, that's game over. Because I'm locked into my move. There he is. And he weakens the attack. So yeah, I'm not going to make you guys be prolonged to watch this because it's just a stally thing. Um, but yeah, we lost finally on our third match. <sighs> we had a good run, so water's done the best so far. But there we go. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. The first two matches are fun. That last one, that was just there wasn't much I could do. Not against like what he had on his team. It was like the perfect counter to us. But eventually we're gonna run into something like that anyways, so. But there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the Hisuian Water Gym. It did pretty good. And yeah, in the next one, we will be playing with a ghost type one, which I'm looking forward to because ghost is always a spicy uh, team building type to work with. So I'm excited to build that one because we'll have Hisuian Zoroark. Uh, we'll be using Hisuian Typhlosion again. We'll have Basque Legion again. And then I'll just have to go through the ghost typings that are available to us in um, Legend of Arceus. And then I'll just build the team from there. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!